In this tutorial, I am going to share with you some of my favorite balancing tips. Working on balance is such an incredible way to work the body. It really recruits the core, it recruits the legs, it helps improve posture, and it's one of those things that as we age, it tends to kind of go away. We're not as good at balancing, so it's a really important thing to practice. It's something that you find in almost every single become routine, but of course it is pretty challenging. So here are my favorite tips that will hopefully help support you with balance. Balancing tip number one is to pick a steady focal point. Now, believe it or not, balance and vision are directly related to one another. So if you've ever practiced standing on one foot, like maybe you can do it fine here, but if you try standing on one foot and you close your eyes, it likely will not be long there before you start to lose your center and you lose your balance. Again, that is because your balance and your vision are directly connected. So one of the best things you can do to help you balance is to pick a focal point out in front of you and fixate your eyes on that point throughout the entire balancing portion. Now, when you pick your focal point, you want it to be kind of somewhere around the height of your breastbone. You certainly don't want it to be higher than your eyes because then you're looking up, that may throw you off. And if you take it lower than say like your belly button and you start looking down, there's a good chance that your body weight will follow your vision and that will kind of force everything down. So pick something that doesn't move, pick something that's about breastbone height, and don't be afraid to glue your eyes to it to help support your balance. Balancing tip number two is to try to relax your foot. Now this is not an easy one to do because you're standing on one foot when you're balancing, right? So naturally, the foot is going to try to grip the floor in order to support its balance. And one of the best things you can do is to try to relax the foot, let the toes release, and instead grip higher in the leg. I'm gonna say that again. We wanna try to grip less from the base of our foot and we wanna to work to grip more from the top of our leg, right? So more like around the glute or around the hamstring. So when you think about standing on one foot, there's three places where you want to try to hold your weight. And those three points kind of make a triangle. So it's in your heel and then it's either side of the ball of the foot. So we're trying to let our weight hang out between these three points without getting up into our toes. Right now I am standing on one foot, but I'm really gripping with my foot. So I have an active ankle and I have very, very active toes. Can you all kind of see how my toes are curling into the floor? This ankle is really gripping. I'm holding all the weight at the base of my foot, which is actually making me more wobbly because the foot is not what's supposed to hold us here. So I'm going to shake it out and now I'm going to press weight down to the heel, to either side on the ball of the foot, and then I'm going to really let my toes kind of wiggle here in my grip socks. The grip socks are very helpful because they do kind of help the toes remember to relax. That's just a side note. And now, I'm gonna stand on one foot, here we go. Instead of gripping down low from the ankle, so not here, I'm going to release and then try to think about gripping higher in the leg. The more I can grip the glute and the hamstring, the top of the leg, the more likely I am to let the ankle release some so that I'm just standing. I love to think about my weight sinking down and then dispersing out through the mat. So instead of gripping this way with my foot, I'm instead letting everything spread this way while we hold higher in the leg. 
Now we do have to kind of distinguish the good pain from the bad pain when it comes to this one, because when you're doing balancing work, you are working your calf, your ankle, and your foot. And those are very important muscles to work because you use them when you walk around every single day. What we don't want is we don't want a pain so severe that it feels almost like a Charlie horse or like your toes are stuck in a position like it's really cramping. We don't want that, but having some sensation in the foot or in the calf is totally okay as long as you're keeping those toes relaxed and you're really working to evenly disperse the weight throughout the foot and into the floor. Tip number three is probably my favorite tip and also the one that I think helped me with my balance the most. So this tip is all, I'm gonna call it freeze, okay? <laughs> Stop moving. So a lot of times what I see is clients will be trying, you know, to do some sort of balancing. They'll start to lose their balance and they just try to keep going in order to keep up with the series. And the thing is, is when you're balancing, like you have to be connected to your center first before you can tap on movement. So when you get to a point that you're balancing and you start to lose your balance, you gotta stop, right? Don't continue on with this series. Instead, freeze, then try to regain and find your center once again. Stay here for as long as you need and then join back into the series. Yeah? So again, when you're moving, when you're doing something, if you start to find that you lose your balance, pause, freeze it here. See if you can recover. Can you save it? Drive everything back into center. Hang out there until you feel steady, you feel stable, and then continue on with the rest of the motion. Tip number four is all about playing a little mind game with yourself. So you're basically gonna play make-believe and you're going to pretend that you have something to hold on to. This one weirdly works like a charm. When you are struggling with your balance, just imagine a chair or a wall beside you. Pretend hold on to it and it can really, really help steady you. Another one that I like to do is when I'm standing up from a lunge, right? So I'm lifting up to balance. I'll often pretend like there's a bar over my head and I'll grab the bar at the top of my move to help steady and center me in the exercise. Tip number five is to think about getting really long. And this is actually, this is kind of the way that balance works, okay? So what I want to think about is my foot pressing into the floor, but then the opposite reaction of that is my head lifting up to the ceiling. So the more that I can think about pulling the body apart this way and this way, the more likely I am to balance, to be able to balance, because it's like we've taken a string and we've pulled it taut, right? It has nowhere else to go except straight up and down because that's the direction it's being pulled. Similar thing happens if you were to work to an extension here. Instead of thinking about lifting your foot or dropping your head, no, no, you're gonna think about reaching your head so high up and your toes so long and your stomach and your belly pull away, pull away, pull away so that my head is reaching out here. My toe is reaching back there. This foot is driving down and I've really energetically extended myself and pulled myself apart, which helps me stay in place. My final tip may sound somewhat counterintuitive now that you've just learned all the previous tips, but the, the, the final tip is to do less. So sometimes we get such a roadblock by thinking, oh, I have to balance, I have to get there, and I suck at balance, and my foot is wobbling, and my, my leg is cramping, and it's like all this stuff, right? And one of my favorite things to think about is to kind of clear the head and say, I'm just gonna stand. Where is it? Where's that center? There it is. Just stand. Get a little more calm. Focus your eyes on one point, try to relax your toes, grip through the top of the leg, get longer, get taller, and then just stand. The more you can calm your mind down, 
You can try to calm your senses down and trust your body to anchor to the floor, to refine its center line, its plumb line, to grow nice and tall, the easier it will be to balance. When you start to feel that fall, whoop, freeze. Regain to center, find it, let the weight anchor down, belly in, and just stand. Good luck.